Guys, what if I told you that you will never get rich off clothing, no matter how hard you tried? It's a little bit overdramatic. It actually is possible to get rich off clothing. You just have to set proper expectations for how long it might actually take and how hard it will be. So in this video, we will do just that. I'll show you why it's so hard to get rich off this little thing we call the clothing brand game. Uh, a little bit of background about me. My name is Dave Nash. I've been an e-commerce entrepreneur for eight years. I've scaled five companies. I've exited three. And right now I run a clothing brand that's done about $1.1 million in sales in the past 365 days. Uh, and plus I'm wearing a Rolex, which means I'm rich and smart. So definitely listen to me. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, it's gonna be a six minute video. I'll try to do it as quick as possible so that you don't waste your time. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline a hypothetical scenario where someone is just starting from scratch and I will go step by step by step by step over two or three years, how to actually get rich off clothing. And you will see by the end of it, why it's so damn hard and why it just takes so damn long, okay? So in this hypothetical situation, you are a brand new brand owner and you're trying to start a brand. You have a rich aunt and she donates you $5,000 so you can go like follow your dreams or, or whatever. So in this situation, we will start with a lump sum of $5,000. Okay, so you have $5,000 to start your brand. What is the first thing you do? You have to design clothing, you have to sample it, you have to manufacture it, and then it has to get shipped by sea over to your house. How long does that take? I would say about 60 days for sampling, 30 days for manufacturing, and another 30 days for shipping over to you. So that is four months. So after four months, you finally get the clothing and you, you launch your brand. And in this type of situation, you are an amazing marketer. So you, you, know, you sell out your, your launch and then you do about $15,000 in revenue. And then let's say you also spend about $5,000 in, in marketing costs for photo shoot campaign, influencers, and ad spend to support the drop. So overall, 15K in revenue, 5K in inventory, 5K in ads, uh, you will have made 5K. So you made 5K in profit. Do you just get to take home this profit? Like, does this go into your bank account? The answer is no, because we've already established at the beginning of the video is we want to get rich off clothing. And if you take this $5,000 out of the business and then you have $0 in the business, well, you'd have 5, 000, the original 5,000 that you made back. But then what would happen is, you know, you'd have $5,000 in your pocket, but then the business would still only have $5,000 in it, which would mean that the best you can do for the next drop is to do $15,000 in revenue. And if you just keep doing the same cycle of, you know, getting $5,000 in profit, taking it out of the business and then doing 15K in revenue every four months, you're not really like getting rich off clothing, right? So how do you actually get rich off clothing? Well, it's a concept called reinvesting your capital. So what we're gonna do, instead of taking out the money like a, dumb, like a dumbass, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this $5,000 and we're gonna add it to the original $5,000 that we made, that we made back after doing the drop. We're gonna combine it and reinvest it. So now for the next drop, guess what? We have $10,000. So now you have to design a drop, develop it, and then produce it, and then ship it over to your house. Another four months goes by. So you're already eight months into the journey. This is not some get rich quick scheme. It's eight months in, and you've only done one drop. You're about to do your second drop. So you do, you're you an amazing marketer again. You, you, you go viral, you, you run ads, you do influencers, you have amazing video shoots, whatever it is. So now you do the drop and you make $30,000 in revenue. Uh, and then you support it with about, say, $5,000 in ads, influencers, and campaigns again. So now you're left with 15K. Most of you would be like, oh, I'm rich, whatever, like 15K. And then you, you take it out of the business and then your business has $0. And then, like I said, the issue comes up again. You only have $10,000 in the business, so you buy 10,000 of inventory, and then the next drop, you can only do 30,000. But again, we're not getting rich in this scenario where we just have like a steady income of 15K profit every four months. That, that is not really getting rich by any means. 
So what you need to do is practice the concept of reinvesting again. So basically you take the 15,000 you had of profit, you had the original 10,000, and then what you do is you combine them and then you, may, you, you put that into inventory again. So now you have $25,000 of inventory, four months go by. So we're four, eight, 12. We're one year in guys, one year in, into this business. And uh, we have $25,000 of inventory. So what do we do? We sell through it again, because again, this is a hypothetical situation. Everything is going perfect and you are just selling through every drop. So even when things are going perfect, it's taking over a year to even start to begin the motion or like the, you know, the journey of getting rich off clothing. It's taking over a year. So we're already at the year mark. You do a drop, you make $75,000, right? So then you're at $50,000 in profit, but then you spend say $20,000 to market it, influencers, content creation, run ads, etc. So you make $30,000 in profit. So now with the business, if you do keep doing the same thing, you reinvest 30,000, 25,000. Now you have $55,000 of capital in the business. And then what you do is you have another launch and then you do 150K. Then you profit about 50K after all expenses. So now after about four, eight, 12, 16 months, you are finally able to see some steady profit. So in month 16, in one drop, you would have made $50,000 in profit. And that's after 16 months, making $50,000, you know, every four months is still not getting rich. Like it's a lot of money, guys. I'm sorry to say it is not getting rich because if you do a $50,000 in profit every four months, you have three drops a year. You're only making $150,000 a year. That's basically the same as like any corporate salary. Like that's not enough money after taxes, after your bills to go out and buy a track hawk and do all these random things that you see people online. This is 16 months of hard work in this hypothetical situation in which everything is going perfectly. Like you don't have delays with your manufacturer. The, the bulk order is fine. You're selling out every single time. And we're still only making as much money as if we had just like some office job. Right. So this is just the, exactly like why it takes so long to get rich and why you need to practice something called delayed gratification. Because as soon as you start to take money out of the business, say after 16 months, you made 50,000 and you're like, you know what? I'll buy a Corvette. I'll buy a Urus. I'll buy a Trackhawk, whatever it is. I'll buy an Audemars Piguet. You take $40,000 out of the business and now you only and, and to buy your AP and you only have $10,000 of capital left, guess what? You're literally back to square one. You are you have just regressed by eight months, probably a year, by taking money out of the business. And because now you only have ten thousand dollars in the business. And if you have ten thousand dollars in the business, you use that to buy inventory, what will that get you when you sell out? It'll get you thirty thousand dollars. And then you make like five thousand dollars in profit or ten thousand dollars something low. It is not rich. Okay. So Basically what clothing is, is, is because of the inherent nature of the, the product development life cycle, which is four months, four months, four months, four months, you can only do a certain amount of drops per year. And if you are taking money out at any point in the cycle, you are basically losing your chance to get rich. It really will impede your reinvestment strategy so that you can do bigger and bigger drops. Because once you start taking money out, it's pretty much over for you. So it's basically a huge game of delayed gratification. And if you can keep reinvesting and reinvesting and reinvesting, this is the only way to get rich off clothing. You, you have to keep reinvesting. There's no other way. So next time you think about taking money out of your business um, to do some, you know, to pay for some luxurious thing, think about this and watch this video again. And then you'll realize that it, it really is a game of delayed gratification and reinvestment. And anyone who's doing anything otherwise is not never gonna get rich. Yeah, you've, you might have made an Audemars Piguet, but you will never become like generationally wealthy, making millions of dollars of profit or selling your company for $10 million, whatever it is, if you don't just reinvest the capital for probably like three to four years straight without taking money out. Yeah, you can take some money out for like your bills and stuff, but if you're not reinvesting the majority of your capital and in, back into your business, 
you are basically never going to grow. And, and you need the capital and the business to grow. So I hope this kind of sheds some light on why it's so hard to get rich. It's because it's pretty hard to have the discipline, even if you're doing everything right. Your designs are amazing. Your marketing is amazing. But if you're making the wrong move by taking capital out of the business, then you will never achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to mention that this Saturday, I'm actually opening up applications for you to be part of the first ever cohort of the Fashion Accelerator program, which is basically a consulting program where I will personally teach you how to run and grow your fashion brand to do over a million dollars per year. So if that interests you, go into the bio, click the link and sign up, join the waiting list, and I'm going to email you guys application links this Saturday. So thank you guys again so much for watching the video. 5,000 subscribers. See you in the next video. Peace.